In this video, you will learn about the different types of cross stitches. There are 11 types of cross stitches in the cross stitch program. This is a sampler of all the different types of cross stitches. When you rest your cursor on a stitch, there is a flag that shows you the type of cross stitch, as well as the color. The full cross is two equal length stitches that cross in the middle to form an X. The three-quarter cross is a quarter stitch followed by a half stitch. The long stitch of the three-quarter stitch can go in either direction and the short stitch can go in any corner of the square. You can also combine it with a quarter stitch of a different color to fill in the areas. You can get different effects depending on which corner is used. Below this set of stitches you can see the different ways that the three-quarter stitch can look. This stitch is often used to create rounded edges in a design. The half cross is a diagonal stitch that slants either from the right to the left or the left to the right. You can combine two half stitches going in opposite directions with different colors. You'll learn about this in a later video. Use this stitch to make less dense designs. The quarter cross stitch fills only a quarter area and can create intricate patterns. It will also help smooth rounded edges. You can see the different ways that the quarter cross stitch can be oriented. Next is the mini cross stitch. This is composed of two equal length stitches that cross at the center to form an X. These stitches only fill a quarter of the square. These are good for details, and as you can see, they can be placed in any corner. The upright cross has a vertical and a horizontal stitch. The double cross stitch has two full crosses stitched at 90 degrees on top of each other. These give denser designs. Use it for details or for a border. The elongated cross has two equal length stitches that cross to form an X, but they're only in a half of the square. They can be vertical or horizontal, and they can be on either side of the square, as you see illustrated here. French knots are used for details. They can also be used to dot letters like an I or a J. The single border is activated with an outline. The single border can be placed on any side of the square by clicking on the side you want to place the line. You can add a border around all sides of the square if you wish. It can also go diagonal. Crosses can also be used as a decorative outline stitch. They are considered a fill stitch. First, select the type of stitch you want to use for a border. When you click on it in the Select Stitch, it appears in the Stitch and Outline toolbar. Then select the outline, click on the drop-down arrow, and select Current Cross Stitch Type, and it will create that kind of border. You have many choices for the type of stitch you use in cross stitch, depending on the effect that you want.